Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. I'm excited about this one. Today we're gonna to talk about Tom Brady's book. And I'm gonna give you three takeaways. I think three things I want you to know that people can apply, normal people can apply to their life to, to help them live better. Um, the TB, this is called the TB12 method, how to achieve a lifetime of sustained peak performance. So the first thing that I wanna say is I really like there's gonna be a lot of criticism about this book. It's extreme, there's some kooky things in there. They kind of made up some words, there's pseudoscience, all of that is true. But that said, I really like in the context of professional sports where it's so tempting to wanna to get ahead in the short term basically by destroying your body, abusing your body. Whether it's steroids or growth hormone or lifting weights so heavy that it destroys your joints, just going at it so hard. And here's a guy who's at the top, right? He's one of the best. He is probably the best quarterback of all time. And he has found a way to do this naturally without performance enhancers, steroids and growth, uh, in a way that takes care of his body, does not sacrifice his body, do whatever it takes at the expense of his body. And I want to emphasize that. I think that is counter-cultural in professional sports. I think most people destroy their body for glory and accept that. And, he, and here's a guy who uh, is trying to align taking care of his body with performance and doing it in a, in a way that, um, that's healthy. So I think that's a really good thing. And if you took one thing away from that, I think it would be you know, kind of saying, hey, Good for him. Now let's get into a little bit of the criticism. Two and three, the other things that I want to say about this. This book came out in September of 2017. Um, in the Super Bowl is February 2018. Ten days before the Super Bowl, Facebook released this docuseries called Tom vs. Time. Perfect timing right before the Super Bowl. Of course, Tom Brady, the TB12 method, has a website where you can buy very expensive Tom Brady stuff. Everything from TB12 snacks to Tom Brady Gatorade, which is like 15 bucks a bottle. Uh, there's a yoga mat that I think is $120. And this is, listen to this, this is ridiculous. Uh, there's a, f a vibrating foam roller that's 200 bucks. A foam roller is like 20 or 30 bucks. So, so very clearly, this is not just Tom Brady kind of hoping to inspire and share, you know, what works for him, but this is a brand, TB12. Tom Brady is branding himself at the end of his career, um, and he's selling you something. Um, <clears throat> so to get specific, um, in his diet, I'm going to go more into this in another video, but, um, you know, these TB12 snacks, his TB12 electrolyte little Gatorade thing, his Tom Brady protein powder, all of that stuff is all over it. You don't need any of that stuff. You know, I think you most people can get what they need from a well-balanced diet, and I don't think you need any supplements or vitamins in the absence of certain disease or very specific indications. I know that a lot of people don't like that, but be aware that he's selling you something in the same time. That's, that's kind of number two, what comes across from this book and this brand. And, and the third thing is all of this stuff, as always, has to be specified and personalized to you. What are your goals? What do you want? So if you're like, if you want to be a high performance quarterback, then I think, yeah, you can consider doing a lot of these resistance techniques that he's talking about. If you're a lineman, or a linebacker and you need strength and size, you're gonna have to hit weights heavy. You know, you're probably gonna have to eat more, more heavy carbs, put on more weight. It's gonna be different and that's just football. You know, um, most people, you know, kind of the average person doesn't need to perform athletically at anywhere near a high level. So this pliability thing that Tom Brady talks about, the softening and and loosening of his muscles and all that stuff. I think that's kind of a made up thing. It's a branded term. In medicine, you know, I would call that flexibility. And then soft tissue work, like deep tissue massage. 
For me, I'm 39, I'm a year younger than Tom Brady, and as I've exercised more, I actually exercise more now than I did 10 years ago, and I get sore quicker, so I've had to incorporate more soft tissue work. I think that's absolutely appropriate. I think the pliability thing is uh, a little bit silly. But for the average person, this is the point, is you're not a professional quarterback, okay? You don't need to go to the extreme that he does in this book, you know, to lose weight, um, to have a decent, appropriate athletic ability for, for whatever you do, whether you're a runner or you play racquetball like my dad, or you do like to get out there and play, you know, beach flag football like I do. So you have to, to kind of personalize and, and titrate everything in your plan, including your diet and your exercise, to your goals, not just weight and kind of body composition, but also performance goals. Um, so I would, I, I would just take that into account um, when you're reading this stuff and saying, oh, I'm going to do that. That works for me. Just make sure that it makes sense for your goals and what you want to do. Right? So those are, those are my three tips. Um, I think, again, um, I hope what this book does is inspire people to live healthier, and it can do that. I think he does a good job of that. To beware of TB12 snacks and vibrating foam rollers and all the branded stuff that you probably don't need. You know, and then three is, like anything, take stuff in here, you know, that works for him, and if it works for you, apply it to your life to live a healthy life. I think that's what we should do with all of this stuff. Kind of take a look and, and like a cafeteria, you know, you pick and choose things that work um, for other people and try them out for yourself. So I hope this was helpful. Um, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, um, I send out emails and stuff too. Subscribe to that. Thanks. Uh, and um, catch you next time.